Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 12 of Let's Play Secret of Evermore, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, I'm back at Horace's place, place over here at the camp, and if you come back to Madronius after you get one of the Diamond Eyes, just talk to him. I trust that you are doing all that you can in order to find the Diamond Eyes. Here is the escape formula. It will allow you to leave underground areas and other interiors in a hurry. Basically, you'll need one part wax, one part vinegar. But if you got wings, then, well, this spell is useless. So I'm not going to equip it. Yeah, I already explained that. Uh, I suppose I can get some more brimstone. More vinegar. Get some more oil. Some more wax. Some more roots. Add that more brimstone. Just pick up some more stuff, and yeah, we're good to go. He has a hiding place in the Hall of Colossia. Check the walls. I'll be sure to look for him later, but we are going to the Hall of Colossia soon. I see you have one of the Diamond Eyes. Keep up the good work and come back when you have both of them. Okay, fair enough. Well, our next destination really is the Hall of Colossia, but first, why don't I head back to some areas we've already been to? Seeing as how we got the Bronze Axe, we should be able to access some more areas. I'll be happy to demonstrate. You see this rock wall over here? With the Bronze Axe, you can destroy them. Pretty simple, right? Well, I mean, it's not that complicated, really. Dead. Let's check what's over here. Limestone, water, and wax. Okay, find anything? Oh, some bone. Wow, like with all these charms, I'm still missing enemies like it's nobody's business. Sounds like the speed formula is really crucial at this point. Uh, where does this lead to? Oh, this leads back here. I don't want to go this way yet. I think I was supposed to head over this way. Like, there's still something else I need to get. I can get it over here. I think it's around the river. I think we're going back here again. Taking on sand spiders and rogues. Not much has changed. Well, these guys still suck, so that much hasn't changed. There we go. What I really need to do is head over this way. Just right over here to be exact. Now I can go through this cave. Talk to this guy. Hey, how did you get in here, kid? What happened to the barrier? I hit it with my axe. So you did. That's a bronze axe you have there. You've been in the Great Pyramid. Seeing as how that's pretty much the only axe in the world that's bronze, apparently. You're quite an explorer. You know what you need? You need the drain formula. Uh, yeah, my whole life is fulfilled thanks to the drain formula. Thanks. Well, seeing as how Atlas is a pain in the ass to get stronger, I'm going to remove that. And probably put in drain. Why not? I won't be using it much, but who knows? There might be that one situation I'll need it. Just mix one part ethanol with two part roots. You'll drain hit points from your enemies and give them to yourself. I'm sure, why not? I hardly got any ethanol at all, apparently. I'll get some more of that. Just in case I actually cast drain. You record my progress? Okay. See you later. Get some roots and some ethanol. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Therefore, I can just go on ahead. There, cast speed. Yep, you know what? Forget it. Let's just go on the lift. I think now we should head for the Hall of Colossia. 
be right over this way. Back to the western beach, only this time we gotta go up. Remember that cliff we saw earlier? Now we gotta use reveal on it. But you already knew that, pretty much. Like, you saw that coming. Thank you. Revealer. Here we go. Oh, Revealer's now at level 1. Let's get some more limestone. Now we head over this way. So we can get the second diamond eye. Oh, there's some man monks here. You should be able to dispatch them easily at this point. They don't have a lot of HP compared to the enemies we've already fought. Okay, so apparently there's a lot of monks in this place. Hmm, this music sounds nice. Oh, can't go this way. Okay, here's some new enemies. There's a bunch of slimes. What are the slime enemies called? Oh, lime slime. Apparently the rats are enemies too. I don't know about these slimes. I wouldn't be surprised if they try to poison you. Usually green enemies do that. Just something about green that is affiliated with poison. Okay, so apparently I can go this way. Oh, no, you're not knocking me that back, thank you. I pity the fool that crosses me. Is that a door I hear? Okay, so that was a switch. Therefore, I'm guessing this is another bridge as well. Ah, of course. I don't see what I'm making this stronger would do. I mean, if anything, it just serves the same purpose. I'm glad we missed those big spikes. That would have hurt. Okay, so every time I fall down, I wind up back here at this little hub. Oh well, I mean, it's not like you get hurt or anything. Oh, that enemy's gone. But did it already die by the time you fell? Hey, Wilma Flintstone. Greetings, young friend. Would you like me to record your progress? Okay, free spot to save the game. And that's it. I can't carry any more nectar. Ah well, let's pick it up later once I actually feel I need to use it. Let's see, I can't go this way. So one door opened, and I can't go this way either. What about the doors over here? Nope. Okay, gotta look for the lights, apparently. That makes perfect sense. This place seems less of a pain in the ass than the pyramid. As it should be. Ah, I can destroy that. It's perfect. Hey, yeah, you're gonna have to die now. In fact, all these enemies will have to die. go. Ah, call bead. Okay, there we go. At least I got something good out of this. Oh, there's another ch box over here, or another jar. Hmm, is this another bridge? No, apparently not. If it was, I would have had a chance to use revealer. So let's look somewhere else. Yeah, I can see you dying from that. 108 points of damage. Well, you ain't surviving that shit. If you are, you're a super slime. Can't underestimate the power of lime, babies. Moving on. I uh, got some brimstone. Okay, so I'm doing something with the walls. 
I don't think I've been on this part. Have I? Nope, I don't think I've been up here. I came from the far right. Hmm, this is also a dead end. Is there a switch over there? No, no, wait, that's part of the lighting. Okay. So, where do I go from here? Ah, there's a switch. That's where I needed to go. Oh, great. Gee, thanks. It's one way. What the? How did you know that was there? It's like, that is some super dog. Wow. Okay, I'm not gonna risk falling. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that for Ash. Okay, fair enough. Better than nothing. Okay, I'm gonna need to heal right now. There, that's a bit better. Oh, switch. Oh, so it's all the way back there? So there was a reason for that little pathway over there. I just need to activate the bridge first. Um, did that bridge go back? So I just heard noises. I wouldn't be surprised if that bridge did go back. But let me check the other way. I might be able to find something special. It's kind of hard to get all the way around if there's enemies all the time. Okay, so I open another door. I mean, at least that's permanent. I don't know about you, but I think those slimes and probably those dancers too, I think they respawn. Like they just keep coming and coming. Oh, good, my heart balls are level 5. My balls are getting harder, that's great news. I can't find another bridge there. Let's see, uh... I suppose there could be something special over there where that bridge is. That apparently doesn't stay available for a long period of time. Oh, there's a reason behind it. Well, if there is, I won't be able to reach it from here. Do I have to rush to get it, or do I have to fall? Hmm. There's gotta be something up. Why is there, like, so many enemies? Why do they keep coming back? What's so fun about that? See, every time I start running, these enemies, they put you to a stalemate. Is there something back there I could get to? Oh, I can go over here. Oh! Damn it. Okay, I wish there was another passage that actually led to where I need to go. Okay, so I do have to go through all this. Oh, see! You pretty much have to dodge everything. Not to mention these enemies are so fast. That doesn't help. Make it, make it! There we go. Now I can get out of this place. Well, this one room in general. Technically not done with this dungeon. I got other parts. Remember, I saw like four rooms. And I've only gone through one of them. Not to mention that door in the upper middle. That's not open. So chances are that's where I gotta go last. 
So, what door opened next? Just came from that one. Uh, it's not that one. Um, not that one. So it's gotta be this one. What the? Is this a boss? Or a mid-boss? Well, whatever it is. Let me see. I might have to cast Defend first. Let's see what this guy's called. Let me use a Crush spell. Ah, uh, Minitor. Okay. Doesn't sound that intimidating. I mean, it does move pretty fast, and, well, it's, yeah, it's pretty intimidating. I mean, it walks, uh, walks away from you, and as soon as you approach it, that's when it's ready to attack you. Sounds like a pain in the ass boss. I don't think I need to do that spell spam trick. I'll probably much save that for bosses. Besides, so give this boss a little bit of time, and it's dead. There. Now what happens? Do I open another door? Oh, yes I do. Okay, that's that's not too bad. We're making some progress, which is always a good thing. I guess it was another door to the left. So I guess I'm gonna save the game, stop the video right here, and next part we do the second half of Holocolossia. Goodbye everyone.